Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, indices in the United States and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 100. As you can see, we have rallied quite a bit. We're almost up 1%. 0.91 is the current standing, and we are trading at 3,802. So target, or before we basically run into resistance, is basically 3,850, give or take. That is basically here at the top of the Bollinger Band. Um, when we go past that, that is basically when we are most likely going to see a pullback in this market. So technical indicators, they are turning around. MACD is turning around. It's basically flat at this point. Um, RSI is flat. The CCI is bullish. And if you look at the four hour in the stochastic, we can see that it's crossing the signal line in the four hour. And that is a very bullish shine. That means that we're going to see this turn around here, similar to what we have seen in the past. And we're going to cross the signal line and then we are going to go higher. But there's not a lot of room to the upside. We will run into resistance, as I said, in 3,850. That is basically the time probably to leave this market. And um, that is basically when this is going to go back towards the, the lower trend line here before we go even higher than that. After that, we most likely go to 3,900. So let's. Um, so basically, we're trading in a channel at this point. We're going up and down within this channel. And as long as that is the case, it is very predictable where we are going. 4,000 is uh, most likely where this channel will end and then we'll have a break either to the upside or to the downside. We'll basically see what happens there. Otherwise, we're basically at the bottom of the channel. We have to have around 50 more points before we run into resistance and this is going to pull back. So no, no basically, I don't sh uh, short uh, indices, but I do buy them when we get at the, to the bottom. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So we have rallied a little bit. We're up 0.58%. There's not a lot of room to the upside. We're at 60, uh, 63 here in the RSI. If we manage to break above this level here, we're going to 31,500. So major resistance is at 31,200, give or take. And underneath, we have the 20 exponential at the 30,666. So um, we're basically right here in the middle. Um, entry point for a buy is right here, 30,666, or in between the 30, 000, uh, 30 exponential moving average, that's at 30,223. This is basically where we'll find major, major support. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is becoming bearish, the RSI is flat, the CCI is flat, stochastic is bearish, and uh, we will most likely head towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band. I would not be surprised if we saw some kind of pullback in the Dow Jones before the Joe Biden speech tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some kind of pullback in all of the indices um, in before the Joe Biden speech tomorrow. It's basically um, a pullback before the rally because I'm. Um, it is highly expected for his speech to be very, very optimistic. He's going to lay out the future uh, for the United States, what they're basically going to do. And uh, yes, it's going to be um, a FDR technically kind of moment. And it will just make more optimism. And uh, what market likes is basically optimism and liquidity. So they're getting both at this uh, time. And that will basically rally this market. So let's look at the as NASDAQ. So as you can see, we have uh, most likely run into resistance here at the top of the Bollinger Band. So uh, roughly 30,076, that is where we'll find some resistance in the NASDAQ. Rally about there basically means that we're going to break back down towards this trend line. We have rallied 1.51% today, so really good. Uh, most of the tech stocks, as you can see, are green, the major tech stocks and uh, that basically affects the NASDAQ because they're such a big part of the NASDAQ. So major support should be down here, roughly 12,650. And 
The target at this current stage is 13,400, 500, give or take. That is the long-term target or medium-term target here. Uh, that will, however, take a few, probably a few weeks in order to get to that point. Probably one or two weeks in order to get that point. So we'll run into resistance here, 13,000. Uh, or the top of the bullion band, and we're not that far off. That will probably pull back towards the middle and then go higher. If you look at other technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is turning around, becoming flat, RSI is flat, CCI is uh, bullish at this point, and the uh, stochastic is still bearish, but it is basically turning around here. If you look at the four hour chart, it should be fairly bullish, and that is also what we're seeing here. And that's why we also have this probably short time rally so so um, it'll be interesting I'm, I'm expecting for for nasdaq and also all of the indices to basically um to pull back a little bit before the speech and then rally um quite significantly after the speech or during the speech so let's look at the stocks we can see the apple is up 0 0.68 we're trading in between the 40 and the uh, 20 expansion moving garage Average, um, the bottom of this market is most likely 125. And after that, we have the uh, 50 moving average right underneath. So there's a massive amount of support underneath. And I don't believe that Apple is going to break uh, below that. Um, to the upside, target is uh, 138. That is the previous highs here. And that's also where we'll run into the top of the Bollinger Band, roughly, give or take, around that area. So... I'm definitely a buyer here. We entered a, a buy-in for for Apple, basically a, a, a target of this of these previous highs. So Amazon, you can look as you can see that we have rallied 1.23 percent. We have a lot of work to do because we have all of these moving averages just above, and we have to get through that. But I am uh, very optimistic for this stock. It has been a sleeping giant for quite some time now, but. I think that the target here will most likely be these previous highs of 3,353. That's roughly up uh, by 6.64%. Technical indicators are turning around. They are still bearish, but are turning around. For example, the stochastic is becoming very bullish at this point, while the other indicators are still bearish. But the target here is previous highs, stop loss roughly underneath these previous lows. So Microsoft up 1.56%. This was also very anticipated. We were at the bottom of the bullish band. We ran into the 150 moving average here. It was definitely not going to break the 150 moving average, but we are most likely going to see a lot of resistance just above here. If we break these moving averages and trade above that, then we are going to target these previous highs. And this is a move of roughly 5.22%. Technical winners, very similar to, uh, to, um, to Amazon. Stochastic is turning around, while the other ones are still very bearish at this point. So Facebook at a massive rally today, 3.37%. We found support here at the 200 moving average, and we have done that once in the last few months. That was basically back here where we were get close to the 200 moving average. But now we reached the 200 moving average, and now we're heading straight up to the air. There's a lot of room. There's a lot of work to be done here. There we have a lot of moving averages just above. But we were technically oversold in this stock. There was just a stock that has been hammered the last few weeks, mainly due to the, uh, Donald Trump being kicked off the platform. And so Twitter and Facebook have both been hammered the last few weeks. We were way outside of the bullish band. There were, were several points where I expected this to rally. But we did rally here, and we're heading at least towards the middle of the bullish band, and that's at 265 before we will find any uh, major resistance. Technical indicators otherwise are turning around. You can see here's the classic become very bullish. CCI is going across the zero now and um, and the MACD is also turning around sharply. Still bearish, but as soon as it's crossed the signal line here, that is an indication that we will go significantly higher. So the target are the previous highs here, roughly 292 and these previous highs of 298. Um, yes, that is most likely where we're heading to. So no interest in basically shorting this at this point. And definitely, if you wanted to buy in, it should have been right here. 
and a target of roughly um, 298. So let's look at Tesla. Tesla is up uh, near 2% today. Yes, we're actually trading sideways but, but, uh, at this point. I do believe that we are going to drop towards the middle of the Bollinger Band at some point. But when stocks usually trade like this and just go slowly towards uh, the moving average, which will move this way, and then it will intercept, it usually has a jump to the upside. And that means that we are heading towards 900 for this stock. So if you look at technical indicators, we are significantly overbought. Uh, Stochastic is very bearish at this point. Um, CCI is bullish. MACD is bullish. But we are trading sideways. Uh, the best thing here is to would have been if this fell all the way down to the middle of the Bollinger Band. And that's roughly $100 move to the downside. Roughly 10%. So 10.18%. Uh, so yes, we'll have a look um, whether or not we start investing this. I would prefer a drop before investing. So let's look at Google. You can see we're up uh, nearly 4%. So Google has also been one of these sleeping giants the last few weeks. Nothing has really happened here until now. But now we are significantly overstretched. Here. We're way outside of the bullish band here. So tomorrow, expect a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average again. Uh, we could rally, uh, but we'll find additional uh, resistance here, the 1846. Um, technical indicators are looking very promising now. Stochastic is turned around, MACD is turned around, CCI, RSI, all of them are turned around, but we are significantly overstretched. So expect a pullback towards at least the middle of this to 1777 before going higher. So last but not least, it's Netflix. We're up 1.63%. So we need to get through these moving averages. We found major resistance here at the 20 exponential moving average. That is roughly 509. And then we are now we're trading just about the 50 moving average. If we manage to break through uh, the middle of the bullish band, then we're going to all the way to the top. And that's roughly 542. And that is also the previous highs here. So target here should be the previous size that is 544 give or take um or a little bit lower i would say 540 um to be on the safe side if you look at technical indicators they are all turning around technically Mad stochastic is very bullish uh, rsi is a little bit bullish uh, cci is bullish and the stochastic now macd is turning around here becoming bullish as well so Everything points to the upside. There's a massive amount of support underneath. So if this drops lower, that is basically a buying opportunity. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.